Welcome to another episode of Whiskey Straight with me, Big Al. As you can see, it is another fantastic day here in the good old north of Ireland, right in the heart of the Kingdom of Bourne. But, I'm not sure if you can properly see it behind me here. The old sea mist is moving in, so time to get out here. Should a wee video, wee bit of a different one today because I am talking about three local distilleries as part of the support your local challenge that was initiated by Andrew from Prestige at the Lickman's WW Down Under. Now, the aim of this is to basically talk about three local distilleries, give them a wee bit of promotion and uh, let the word be known a wee bit wider afield and really good idea, a good thing to be doing so thumbs up for that Andrew. I was, well I've been nominated for this by a couple of other whiskey tubers. Uh, the first was Matt's Cigars and Whiskey, and Matt over in Ipswich in England, top bloke. I'll put a link down to his channel in the description below, check him out. Really, really good stuff on there as well. The other one you might know as, well, he's known for a variety of things actually. He's got a big long beard, he calls himself the Whiskey Novice, but if you follow him on social media, you also see that he's quite adept at the old basketball. You know, some really crazy, bizarre shots there. He likes strumming on the old guitar too and doing a bit of singing and whatnot. And he is also famed uh, in Europe, particularly France, uh, for his attempt three years ago at uh, doing his own version of the movie Fast and Furious. And I'll just leave it at that. If you don't know what that means, maybe he'll explain it at some stage. So check him out as well. And I think the guys, Joe and Sonsi at the Affordable Whiskey Review have mentioned me as well. Uh, love the way they do things. Bloody good fun. Whiskey with a bit of crack, a bit of banter, and a different way of approaching a review. So I'll put those links down too. So while I'm sitting here at the old uh, outside table, I'll pour myself a wee dram as I talk to you about the three distilleries uh, I'm going to mention. Now, it's not Rowan Co, but I thought, you know what, I'll keep it Irish. And I've got my wee tooth glass here as well. Uh, and I've got the old overhead sun brolly up here so the old chrome tome does not get bloody toasted, which it has a tendency to do if I get a wee bit stupid. So the first distillery I am going to talk about is just a few miles down the road from me, I think probably probably about 10 miles, if even that, down the road that way, and that's the Cologne distillery. Very small enterprise started by Brendan Carty and he really is a great guy, very knowledgeable about whiskey, very passionate about what he does and although the whiskey he gets is sourced at the moment, he likes to do different things with it. There's a lot of experimental stuff going on with different woods, different things and he really is making a name for himself there. Now, what I particularly like about the Cologne brand is transparency. So, if you're into whiskey transparency, this Cologne range has transparency in every way, right down to the last detail. You know everything that's in there. It's just brilliant. So check them out. Now, the next distillery is another one that's close to me, and it's the Hinch Distillery, which is about 30 odd miles that way down the road, just outside Balna Hinch. It is another new distillery, but it's going to be something else when it's actually fully open. I uh, had the pleasure of getting a tour around there uh, start of the year when it was being built, and I can tell you what, it's going to be a really cracking place to be, and I hope to get down again 
uh, in due course when it's all finished and see how it has transformed. Now, again, sourced whiskey, but the stuff that they've brought out already uh, is really, really good. There's a lot of potential there and the ethos they have, the enthusiasm and passion down there as well, it's really going to be another whiskey to look out for and I predict great things ahead for the Hinch. Now, lastly, it is the Acklinville Distillery. Now, it's a wee bit further on down the road again that way, and the Ecklandville Distillery produces the Dunville's range. They brought it back to life, and in bringing back an old name to life, it created a lot of interest, and furthermore, when that interest was peaked in people, they actually found that the whiskey is pretty bloody good as well, and every time they have a new release out now, it's very much anticipated. Good stuff, so there's another one to check out. Now, I have to nominate three other people for this challenge, three other whiskey tubers, and I'm going to, uh, let me see, head off across the pond to nominate three pretty cool people. So bear with me while I have a wee sip of this uh, vanilla bomb here, uh, the Rowan Co. Boy, that's good stuff. Very easy to drink. Anyway, number one is Ozzy at Bottled and Bond. Ozzy's a great guy, full of enthusiasm, loves his reviews. So, Ozzy, over to you. Number two is Scott at the Rookie Wine and Whiskey Enthusiast Channel. I've known Scott for a long time, way before any of this whiskey chipper business and he really knows his stuff about whiskey and wine. So, top bloke, very articulate, check him out. So, over to you for number two, Scott. Who the fuck's number three? I can't remember. I'm a dick. I'm a fucking plum. Shit. I'm a fucking prick. Shite, I'm gonna have to go and check. Third nomination goes to the dynamic duo Matt Cesar, collectively known as the SoCal Dram Tram. Thought I got that right the first time. <laughs> Love watching these two guys work together. They've got a great chemistry. Very funny as well. And I just love the way sometimes Matt just looks at Cesar when he goes off on a, a little tangent. It's just brilliant. So check them out too. Keep yourselves safe in this crazy mad world that we live in at the moment. Look after yourselves, look after each other, keep on supporting your local distilleries, keep drinking your whiskey, and most importantly, keep drinking it the way you like it. Scotch up.